Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Friday to everybody. I know I haven't come on to do a video and that's because uh, last weekend my, my daughter got sick and then this uh, week my, my son got sick yesterday so he ended up not going to school yesterday and today and my cholesterol has been up so um, I haven't been feeling all that great either so yeah <laughs> that's what's been up with me um, I did uh, get to craft today I finished a couple of projects I'm gonna be sending happy mail tomorrow so um, I've just been busy trying to catch up so that's why I haven't done my um, giveaway video yet and but I really need to send this package um, so anyway Today I have a haul for you guys and a little project share. So let me just go ahead and get that done with. Um, so I had hauled a few dies from AliExpress. And I know I said I wasn't really going to buy any more stuff from Ali, but there was such a great deal last month. And I think I bought this maybe three weeks ago I finally got it today and um, I could not help it because it it is um, a, a few dies and it's one of those steel rule dies that I could not pass up as you guys know a few weeks ago they had a sale I think it was before Labor Day and um, um, from this particular store, everything was, well, not everything, but there's there were a lot of dice that were 50% off. So I had to jump on it, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't help it. So let me just share with you guys uh, a few of the dice that I got, if I can open it. And sorry, I did not prepare, but I promise this will be pretty quick because that's all I hauled. I'm trying not to... Like I said, I'm trying not to buy stuff. Um, so I think I was pretty good this week. And like I said, this purchase was from maybe three weeks ago. Something like that. So I'm super excited. Okay, I saw my BFF haul this die right here. And this is the bow, the bat bow. And again, this is the, oh, look at that. This got, that's okay. There's a little imperfection there. The foam looks like it was smushed. Um, but anyway, that's not going to affect the, shouldn't affect the, the cut. Uh, but yeah, really, really cute bat bow so with Halloween coming up I am feeling Halloween now you guys so um, I did create one little project and um, so anyway that's one bow these are all bow dies just to let you guys know I had to grab this one because um, I have been seeing Gloria hey girl uh, who is crafty cake seven she uses this quite a lot I think it's this one hopefully it is um, hmm is that an imperfection right there? I'm not sure. Anyway, hopefully that doesn't affect the cut. I haven't um, tried them yet. But anyway, she uses this a lot and I think it's so cute. So I had to get it since it was 50% off. I also got this deer. Oh my gosh. So my BFF Erica, Scrap Diva 29. Hey girl. <laughs> I had to get this one because she showed me... She texts me and she said, you have to get this die. So that's the reason why I ended up going on that site. And then I thought, well, I might as well buy a few things since they were 50% off. So this one's not a, sorry, this one is not a bow die. Um, but it's a deer. Really cute. And then, of course, I had to get this one because my BFF uses this one. Um, my other bestie Sophia hey girl 
she also got this die and I'm, I think she got it from this um, vendor but anyway this is very similar to um, one of the dies that I have but this one will cut thicker material so that's why I got it so anyway just those are the only four things that I got so hopefully they cut well um, but I was willing to take a chance with you know since they were pretty cheap okay so as far as my my um, projects um, I had to complete a mermaid project that I was doing and I decided to use one of my dice that I hadn't used and it is the graphic 45 large tag slash ATC and flower die um, anyway I used the big one right here and I used that to create this cute little treat um, caddy or little I guess a little treat container so what I did was I actually used the tag and I don't know where it is now it's the graphic 45 this one right here the large ivory tag album um, tags and I used one of them and then I had scored it to create the bottom gusset and then just kind of folded it over and then I created um, little flaps on um, each side of this pink one um, so this pink um, cardstock and I just kind of created almost like a little box like a box tag well it's like a little caddy so hopefully I'm making sense so yeah and then I just used um used the tag and then I used the 65 65 pound paper from Michaels I think to layer it and then um this is a rosette that I created with crepe paper. Um, I made this actually last year, I think. And then, um, anyway, I it was extra from some Halloween um, projects that I was doing. And then I just used one of the stickers from Michaels to go ahead and put, put it in the center of the rosette. This is from one of the dies. Um, it's a die that coordinates with this die right here or it's part of the set for this mermaid die you guys are familiar with the die I used because I did a project in the past with this one to create the mermaid uh, put a little flat back pearl there from Michaels um, this little sentiment which is a sticker from the Michaels uh, $1.50 spot uh, this is a washi tape and I'm not sure if it's from Michaels I want to say it's from Michaels and then I used ribbon on top here uh, and this is from Hobby Lobby and then one of the blings from Hobby Lobby I think it's from Hobby Lobby and then um, I just kind of made a little candy little um, pouch oh, well it's a plastic mm a little tag I guess you can say to put the candy on and then I use my euro punch to um, to create the, the little hanger thingamajig on top <sighs> and what else um, this paper I used um, that more amazing paper I think and that's it so, um, and then I just put some fruit, fairy tale fruit gourmet gummy, sugar free. And this is from, where did I get this? This is from um, Target, I believe. And this is just going to go to somebody. I'm sending happy mail, like I said. So, um, yeah, just really simple. And then I decided to do a Halloween one. 
So I basically did the same thing. And this is my Halloween one. So again, I used this paper and then I used um, just uh, purple cardstock from my stash. This bow right here I created last year again um, for Halloween and as well as this bow right here. And um, this I just added to the bow. And this was from, gosh, I think it's a shan plant. Plan with Shan. Um, this was from her blog, and she shared some digital paper, and there was so cute, and it was, you know, pastel um, colored, and for Halloween. So I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have that, and so um, yeah, I printed it out and made um, a bow as well as this bow right here. But this paper that I used, this is actually another digital paper, which is from, I believe it's from Pokedoodle. And then just used some tool and this little rosette I made last year as well with the little spider from, I can't remember where. And then this rosette I made a few days ago, and I used that silver um, crepe paper that I had gotten from Party City. I love it. I wish I had gotten the gold as well, and I didn't get the gold, but I think I'm gonna go back for it because I'm really liking this metallic uh, crepe paper and let's see oh for this paper right here i actually used the uh beautiful night um you know this collection right here i also used one of the stickers here and the candy sticker to put on the plastic bag that's holding the treat. And then this star uh, paper, specialty paper, is this one right here that I had hauled from Hobby Lobby, I believe, and it's um, it has adhesive on it. You peel it off, and I just put it on 110 pound cardstock. In, um, cream or white is it cream or white and then I just put my Hershey's special dark with almonds and what else so I did the same thing here again I think I might have to reinforce this we'll see I don't know because it's as you can see it's kind of bending because this is just plain cardstock um, so I should make that a little bit more sturdy. Now this die cut here, I think I made this from my Cricut uh, last year. So it was left over from a project last year, which is a Halloween project. And um, I just punched this out. Did I punch it out or did I create? I don't know if I used a die, I can't remember, to punch out this holographic paper. I put this um, spider here um, and that's the one from Michaels, the acrylic spiders from Michaels. And then this little sign here or die cut, I actually fussy cut this I think. Did I fussy cut it? Yeah, I think I fussy cut it. Um, but that's from one of the papers from Michaels last year if I'm not mistaken. And then um, this is from the Beautiful Nights paper. I just kind of made my own little fishtail banner there to create this little um, ribbon, prize ribbon. Put a little spider. This is actually a sequence spider or a confetti spider. And then um, I just put uh, Swarovski crystals on it. And 
I think that's it. Oh, and the back, just to make it sturdy, um, because this was kind of flimsy, because um, it, it's like right on the edge of the this little this tag and um to adhere this on the tag i basically just uh, stapled it with my um tim holtz stapler and then um i put the center anyway this is one of the wooden spiders from i think from michael's last year I have a bunch of Halloween stuff. So yeah, I created that. So, um, and then I made another little prize ribbon right here. And I used one of the um, embellishment from Michael's from last year. I'm trying to use up my stuff from last year, you guys. And I think it came out so cute. And this is uh, the pebbles. I picked that up from Tuesday morning. The pebbles um, flares flare buttons so it just goes in there like so and then I'll be gifting that to somebody for Halloween so that is my project share and my little haul so I hope you guys like my what I shared with you guys today and let me know what you think and these are super easy to make and you don't even need this um, ivory tag uh from graphic 45 you can you know use the die if you have it you can use whatever large tag that you have to make this cute little caddy so anyway thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye for now